Okay, morning everybody. Come down to the mouth on the low tide. Um, hopefully the wind is not too bad in the mic, but it's cranking the northeastly. But yeah, I mean, after the last video I did and talks about it's shallow and that it might close and these type of things. When I come down now and I look at the rapids here and at the speed in which the water is moving, I don't think there's a chance of it closing at the moment. I mean, it is nature and anything can happen, but I really don't think so. As I said in my previous video, there's just too much water in the system. So I don't think it will close. And uh, this water is moving at a, quite a pace. But I wanted to come down on the, on the low tide to see what it looks like. And my plan is to come down again this afternoon on the high tide to see what it looks like then. But uh, with this sort of speed, it's definitely scouring and, and moving sand. So I don't think um, we have to worry too much at the moment about the, the mouth closing. So I'm just going to film as I, as I ride. Moment, the wind is basically pushing me along, but uh, just bear with the wind, folks. It says uh, howling down here this morning, and I'll just ride across and show you what I see. You can see how it's quite a drop off right here on my left and on the southern bank on the other side there. Obviously in the high tide that is all full and this is really deep so again it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like on the high but this rapid here this possibility that this could be clay underneath here almost like a rock formation that's creating these rapids really interesting and uh, if I'm correct somewhere along here is where the uh, that uh, push bar was and I think it's gone yeah I think it's somewhere around here so the dune has eaten away whether they've moved it because of safety for the boats or not that uh, any time will tell okay so now I've come down to the end of the pinnacle once again folks please the wind and um, you see that's a uh, lazy section there and then the lake system here and uh, to be fair pretty stable like I said in the last video but I wanted to see what it was like on a on a spring low and um, looking quite good in my opinion again if uh, the information I got is correct and it's six meters deep here Oh, that's pretty deep and uh, as you saw the flow of the water going out at the mouth area which is now moved quite a long way north which is normal for this time of the year um, I think it's pretty healthy but yeah I'd like to see it on the high tide which I will do and see how different it is on the high I'm sure salt water will be fighting its way up here remember though that there, there is not a, a big gap at the bottom and not a lot of water coming over the top of that to that dune there so if the water was coming over the top of that it will make a massive difference but yeah we'll see what it looks like this afternoon so just quickly before I go popped over the top here Come to the, the western side of the pinnacle you can see still lots of clay the drop off here is quite steep I'm guessing about a meter so again it'll be interesting to see what it looks like this afternoon there's the channel there's the other one that we talk about a lot Yeah, I've come down this afternoon on the high. 
And you thought the wind was blowing this morning. Oh, good. Blowing like now. And uh, this is uh, in front of me, the water in front here. This is where I was standing at the bottom watching the river and the fresh water flow out. I'm going to try and protect the sound as best I can. And as I go around, you can see obviously it's blue, blue, blue water because of this wind blowing. It's blowing the water into the mouth. As you can see it's uh, quite hectic. And um, I'm going to go around to the front there and see how far up the clean water has gone. But uh, oh, it looks really nice. And you can see how the, the water is coming over that lip. Remember this morning I was riding down below where this white water is down here. Uh, just on the edge of the channel and you can see how the water is actually bashing up over the top um, of that lip that I showed you on the right hand side and the diehard spinning guys there yeah in this crazy wind James Lush and his friends you can see now why this bank has been eaten away eaten away systematically so you can see how the water is coming over that bank and uh, the point is down there that's basically where I started that's where we filmed this morning so this here where I am now is roughly where the uh, rapids were and it's so nice to see the water coming over the top there and uh, one of the concerns a little bit is that you can see a lot of sand also washing in as it pushes over the top but uh, a lot of salt water being pushed in today and I think a big part of it is to do with this wind that is blowing it's really 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 strong before I get to the end there I just want to show you the wind that I'm dealing with today Okay, so now I'm at the pinnacle. Disturbed all the turns, yeah? They seem to be coming back. But uh, what's really nice to see is this color line. Look at that. So that's all the seawater coming through. Obviously, the water coming down the rivers, creating the color line there. And then if I go inland into the lake system, you can see salt water is still pushing in, in, in and it's still a pea soup color up there unfortunately the sun is not helping me much but uh, my word it looks really nice as I say hopefully the the sound is okay it's struggling with the wind now it's really really strong if I go around like this you can see how blue it is wind is really helping to push the salt water in. Sadly it's only uh, happening today so I don't think it'll have a huge effect. Lots of salt water going in but it's still really good. And uh, it is our windy season so we should be expecting this wind. I'm very happy with what I see.
So folks, with the wind being so bad, I had to come back home to edit this piece and just put in the commentary. Uh, James and them are really diehard fishermen. But uh, on the way back from the pinnacle, I had to stop quickly just to show you the actual speed of the water going into the system. It's incredible to see the speed of the salt water going in. Um, I'd say almost as fast as the speed of the water that was coming out this morning. Okay, riding home now, um, down the boardwalk, and um, I noticed how fast the water is moving in here. And you can see that reed has vibrating as the water passes it. And obviously, having seen the, the speed of the salt water coming in, you can understand why it's flowing so strong here. Wow, this is so good to see. And uh, a little protected here, yeah, but the, the reeds are still blowing in the strong wind. Until the next video, folks, be safe, everybody.